boys and girls. Welcome to my player ratings for yesterday's hard-fought victory against Watford. And that's exactly what it was. A hard-fought victory. Watford could feel a little aggrieved at the result and a little hard done by. But listen, that is football. You don't take your chances. You risk losing the game. We were more clinical in front of goal, just as we were against Everton. Couple of chances in a couple of minutes and we take them. Watford in the first half I felt had the better of the game. I actually think this is possibly the worst we've played all season, um, including the defeats in front of goal. We just were not creating any chances whatsoever. Lacazette had our only chance in the first half and that was down to his hard work um, and you know getting himself through on goal and it was a poor miss by his standards. Um, and yeah, even in the second half, Watford were, you know, the better side and they had chances at nil-nil. Um, you look at uh, the young lad that came on that went through and it was very carbon copy of the Lacazette chance. And he missed it. And then we got the fortuitous break, an own goal. And then things started to open up. Meza Ozil with a second goal and the game ended up being quite comfortable. And um, yeah, like I said, it's another three points on the board. It's seven wins in a row, five Premier League wins in a row. And right now, we can't be moaning about that. Although we're not playing the greatest you know, football um, and there's still room for improvement, we're doing what we need to do. You know, you look at some of the tactics um, and I feel that Emery needs to start tweaking it to get it right. The whole Ramsey Ozil situation I don't think that it's benefiting the likes of Aubameyang or Ozil. It's actually making them look worse than what they actually are. Um, I was looking at the midfield area kind of yesterday. And at points in the game, you've got Ramsey, Ozil, Aubameyang, Lacazette, Shaka. That's five players all in that middle third. It's too much. There's no width whatsoever. If you get natural width and start using them to put the balls in the box, then Aubameyang can come off the flanks, play closer to Lacazette, and be more of a threat in and around the box, which is what he used to do at Dortmund. But at the moment, he's the only player that can kind of give us width. And he's expected to do that job when he's not a winger. And I feel it's affecting his game. So they're the little tweaks that we need to do. Meza Ozil playing out on the right, it doesn't work. The moment he comes into middle, number 10, look at the difference. I've been saying it for weeks. So those little tweaks are what's needed because at the moment, the way the system's set up, it's not benefiting them and it's not benefiting us as a team. And we're having to change rings around and we're having to get ourselves out of the mess we're in at that present time. So slowly but surely we're getting there. But I'd like to see those little tweaks in place for our next game, um, at least. Not the Europa League game, because I don't think most of those players are going to actually be there out in Azerbaijan. Um, but for the league game against Fulham, most definitely. So, with that said, we're going to go and get into the player ratings. And first of all, Petr Cech didn't really have much to do, to be quite honest, before he got injured. It doesn't look great. It looks like a hamstring and he's going to be out for a while. Um, but quite simply because of everything that went on and didn't really have much to do, I'm going to give Petr Cech a four. I'm uh, going to move into the defensive area. First of all, Hector Bellerin. I uh, felt when he got into the final third, his crossing let him down yesterday. It was really poor. Um, and there were times when he was getting caught out at the back and he just jogs back and that really irritates me. Wasn't a bad performance, wasn't a good performance. I'm going to kind of go pretty straight with this one and I'm going to go with a six um, for Hector Bellerin. Going to move into the defensive area. First of all, we're going to go with Mustafi. Again, a poor performance for me. All over the shop and I felt Rob Holding had to get him out of jail quite a few times. Not great at all and I'm not really going to dwell on it, but for this performance, I'm going to give Mustafi a five. I'm going to move to the next position and that is Rob Holding. And for me, he was my man of the match. I felt he was very, very good, very assured, very composed, looked after Troy Deeney when he had to. And um, yeah, really good performance. And he looks a different player under Emery. We know how much he struggled last year. 
um, after such a great first season at the club. But he looks to be more of his old self again. And I'm starting to, you know, look at him and think, yeah, he maybe needs to be one of the starters in the side. So um, for yesterday's performance, I'm going to give Rob Holding an eight. Next position we're going to move to is Nacho Monreal. Again, same as Hector, really. Um, not bad, not great. Just kind of okay. Does exactly what he needs to do. Um, wasn't that much of a threat getting forward. His crossing let him down at times. Defensively, on that left-hand side as well, there was a couple of times when they got in behind. And um, yeah, I'm going to give him the same marks as Hector for this one. I'm going to give Nacho Monreal a six. Going to move into the two that sit in front of the back four. First of all, we're going to go with Lucas Torreira. Um, all action does exactly what we know he can do. Gets himself stuck in, got a yellow card again for wiping out Troy Deeney. Um, it was quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Love that. But um, yeah, it was a um, pretty straightforward performance from him, to be quite honest. Um, you know, offers that protection. I feel that where Watford get at us is in the flanks. They weren't coming through the middle of us. Um, so for yesterday's performance, I'm going to give Lucas Torreira a seven. Um, decent performance in there. Um, done what he had to do. Uh, next player alongside him, Granit Xhaka. Again, pretty straightforward performance. I think he was quite controlled. When he had to get stuck in, he got stuck in and um, put himself about yesterday and um, sprayed the ball when he had to. A couple of times, there was a couple of sloppy passes, um, but there was no harm done. And um, yeah, straightforward performance. And for this one, I'm going to give Granit Xhaka a seven. Uh, going to move into the attacking area. First of all, we're going to go with Aaron Ramsey and it was a poor performance. I don't think he should have started the game with all the contract stuff that's going on. Certainly shouldn't have been given the captain's armband when Petr Cech come off. Um, and it was a bad day at the office for me for Aaron Ramsey and it showed and that's why Unai Emery took him off. So for this game, I'm going to give Aaron Ramsey a five. Uh, next position we're going to go with is Meza Ozil. Worked hard and I noticed that over the last few weeks. He's working hard. There was an incident in the 90th minute when he tracked back all the way. Um, run a good 50, 60 yards and won the ball back on the edge of the box and took us down the other end at a time when Watford were trying to attack. So yeah, work-wise, he's really changing under Emery. Um, but we only see the best of him when he goes in that 10 and it's been the same the last few weeks. He's quiet until he gets in that area, then he starts affecting the game and controlling it. Um, popped up with another goal, three and four for him. And like I said, he's more effective when he's in that 10. Um, so the fact that he scored a goal as well um, and he became effective when he moved into that 10 roll, I'm going to give Mesut Ozil a 7.5. Um, next player, we're going to go with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And um, again, it was a quiet day at the office. I told you, I've already said at the start of this, um, I don't think that he's being used properly and um, the system's not quite helping him. So... Yeah, tough day for him, and that's why he was taken off, and he looked a little frustrated. But for yesterday's game, I'm going to give Aubameyang a six. Um, next position is Lacazette up front. Um, worked hard, as he always does. Really works hard. It was not his greatest day in front of goals. Strikers have them days, off days. Um, but the rest of it was really good. Link-up play and everything else worked really hard. And um, put himself in the mix for the first goal, um, which caused the own goal. So uh, for yesterday's performance, I'm going to give Lacazette a seven. I'm uh, going to move into the substitutes. First of all, we're going to go with Bernd Leno. He's got his opportunity and he's going to get his opportunity now that Petr Cech's been injured. And I thought he was excellent when he came on. That second half, the save he made at the start of the second half from Troy Deeney was absolutely top draw. If David De Gea made that save, everyone would be raving about it for weeks. Um, he looked good when the ball was in the box, commanding, decent with his feet once he gets his range. And um, yeah, really good performance from Leno. And for that, I'm going to give him a 7.5. Um, other substitutes, I'm going to go with Alex Awobi. I think he changed the game yesterday when he came on. He gave us that natural width that we've been crying out for. And I've said it. Um, and he gave us that. So... Really good performance from him, and I feel that he should be starting games now. And um, for yesterday's performance, I'm going to give him an 8. 
for the way he came on and changed the game. I know that's the um, same rating that I've actually given Rob Holding, I think. Um, but for the fact that he wasn't on that long, he's not going to get man of the match. Rob Holding was better than him. Um, but he did change the game. So really good performance from Alex Awobi. Uh, next player is Danny Welbeck. And I think he done well when he come on and all. Um, stretched the play, gave us a lot of um, width. And um, yeah, done what he had to do. And for this one, I'm going to give Danny Welbeck a seven. Um, in terms of the manager rating, I'm going to give Unai Emery a seven. Um, I feel we got the tactics wrong to begin with in terms of the personnel. Aaron Ramsey shouldn't have been there. Um, but again, substitutions were key and he changed it round with them. So um, nice to see, very nice to see. But for this one, I'm going to give Emery a seven, like I said. So there we go. That is the player ratings for yesterday's game against Watford. As said, we've got a big game in the Europa League coming up against Karabag. I'll be doing a preview. There will be the match day vlog whilst I'm out there in Azerbaijan. Um, and then, of course, the player ratings the following day, as long as I get back in time. Um, and then, of course, we've got a big game against uh, Fulham at the weekend. So, you know what to do if you're new around here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments in the comment section. And I will see you lot soon. I'm out of here.